Welcome to another episode of Minecraft, guys. I am here in Mock Town. My little town I have built, the town square and the town hall, and all the shops. If you haven't seen this before, um, it's just kind of a little place I, I would love to have in a multiplayer server, but there's never usually enough flat space to build something like this. So this is kind of my little personal town. Oh, I also added water flowing through my skyscraper just because I really liked Mario's or Mario's or whatever, however you pronounce your name. I'm sorry that I pronounced it wrong. Um, his skyscraper. So now I've got water going through and at night it looks awesome. Then my prison over there, town hall. And as promised, I have built a bank. <laughs> it is... I've kind of had an idea to do something like this for a while. It looks pretty cool at night as well. It didn't turn out exactly like I wanted it to just because columns are a little bit iffy. And I... It's a little bit bigger than I want it to be, but smaller than I imagined it, if that makes sense. So I wanted to build it huge, but this town is, it just wouldn't fit if it was too big. So I kind of compromised. It's still a little bit too big for the town, but it's still awesome. Awesome. So you've got the dollar sign and glowstone up there, so it glows at night. We've got windows on the side, and then these columns. You can kind of see some glowstone over there. I've got a block of glowstone behind each of the pillars so that it's not completely dark at night. And then I've got this mini archway right here over the door. And I didn't want to use wood and all this other stuff because I wanted a big imposing bank. Nothing pansy. So cobblestone and stone and I'm not quite sure how big this is. Let me check real quick. Hmm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. About 22 blocks. I measured it by starting with the corner block and then going in and placing the column. So one by one by one. And then put a space of two in between and then a space of uh, six in between so two for the door and then two just to give it space and then two over here so there's four columns with a space of two in between and then a space of six in between the middle that's how I measured it and then I just went out for a ways um, might as well just go inside now so if we walk in to the bank you're greeted with this so you've got money signs on the ceiling for lighting as well as these lamps at the teller booths and you've got columns in here as well that kind of mold into the ceiling um, interestingly I didn't want just columns I wanted something a little bit better to look at and there's a lamp here, lamp over there, and then you can go behind. And so the tellers would go and work here, and you get your money from them. And that is a giant vault. I I wanted to make a big circular door open, but again, Minecraft limitations. Uh, building a circular object, I'd have to make it pretty big to have it look any good. So I just, so I just built, it, built it square and have, and have and the, and the doors open. open. So it just looks like the vault is hinged open right there. Oh, I, I don't have anything in here. Um, I forgot to place some diamonds and gold blocks in here. How could I forget? I'd probably have just a pile of gold blocks and diamond blocks. Since it'd be boring with chests in here um so yeah imagine it with some gold and diamond in there it's an 8 by 8 vault of iron and 
I've been thinking of changing my iron texture to something similar to Zito's, um, Zito's, and so it's more of a stainless steel look rather than a, oh, what, <laughs> I don't even know how you'd explain this, a weird block of diamond, <laughs> or steel, rather than a smooth surface. So you've got this, and then you can go behind. I've got this hidden doorway on both sides. And then you can go up on top. There's nothing up here, but you can go up here. <laughs> I've got some glowstone around. And you can see the back of the main dollar sign. And that's basically my bank. Uh, nothing too fancy, just stuff to get it done. Oh. The windows are three by six and I've got let's see four five of them four in the main part and then five on the the fifth one in the back I didn't want anything complicated so if I added wood and like little um wow well, I don't even know what you call it you put like a door here so that people can't just come into where the tellers are and stuff like that. I just wanted to keep it simple and stark and very official looking. Feel free to tell me what you think about this. I I enjoyed building it, especially the vault. I think it was pretty cool to build a vault with an open door. Um, oh, also, the Your Minecraft Creation series is going quite well. I have a bunch of submissions I need to work on. Um, making videos for. So be patient. I will get to all of yours. Um, I just got a bunch of submissions, so I need to get through them all. Um, there's one that's, I, wow, I, I'm, I'm a little humbled by it just because, um, he submitted them on this site that I'm not really familiar with, but I suggest you guys check it out as well. It's pretty cool. I'll, I'll show you in the next video. But thank you guys for submitting, and I hope this series goes on a lot longer because it's cool to see people's creations and design ideas, to get design ideas of your own, and to just look at cool stuff. I, I like this series, and I will still be doing Let's Build videos like this one, um, and more in-depth ones like my Bachelor Pad and the Island Home. Um, also, I will be updating my texture pack a little bit. Um, someone sent me a suggestion on a texture pack that I should check out. And they have, uh, instead of the jukebox, just the side is kind of a checkery pattern, it is instead a speaker. So then I could put that on the sides of my TVs or like make a huge sound system room type thing. Um, it, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, I enjoyed that. So I'll probably add some speakers, change the steel texture, and I will change the wild grass since the wild grass now is funky looking. So look forward to those things and I will probably update the texture pack when my next video comes out so I can announce it and you guys can know when it comes out. So I will see you in the next video, which shall be a Your Minecraft Creation video, and thank you guys for watching.